Hey buddy, welcome back, welcome back. We are here and we have the finals. Are you hyped, Doss? Because I am I'm, hyped. I'm so hyped, I'm... I, I, I can't control myself, I, I just need to... I, I, I don't know what I need myself. to... I don't know what I need to do, but I need to do something. I, I think we need to just go straight to the drafts and picks. Ninjas with attitude, we saw them last game, taking on the hot Voltar train, proceeding into the finals, versing Team Blah. We've seen them once, we've team seen them blah. twice. We're, boom. We've seen them again. Boom, boom, excuse me, Team Blah. I keep blah. confusing it. Blah's boom, like blah. the main member that I know on that team. But <laughs> Team Boom. We've seen them once, we've seen them twice, we've seen them again. We know what they can do. Let's get straight into the drafts and picks. What are we looking at, Nada? All right. In terms of ninjas, we are looking at a Vinny, a Lone Star, and a Scoop fighting explosions. We have a, a Nibs and a Skoldier combo that up with a Coco. I think we're in for a treat, everybody. So how about we just get to it? Let's do it. Give us a countdown. You got it. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Right, so again, Agion, Invis, important stuff. Um, we're already seeing a piggy uh, from the scoop. Other than that, we're looking at base abilities. You know, one thing that you you, you can kind of get away with a piggy on scoop because he has that regen, that mm -hmm. uh, the binding burst kind, and uh, we see it right there as the hammer just kind of wards out Blah. They know Blah's invis. They need to be. Play very careful at oh, this that point. Is and dangerous stuff. Dashing into a Skoldier comp and especially a Skoldier comp with a Nips and a Coco in it, that is absolutely dangerous. It's dangerous, but it's a high risk, high reward situation. You know, early game like this, it is dangerous. But later on, when he gets oh, yeah, a 700 a dash, it's yep. going to be a lot of damage to everybody. As well as the Silence Cloud. Look at that fire. Kelvin's going to be taking a lot of damage shit, right now. Yeah. Kelvin's going to be trying to escape. Oh, but he actually gets out. Oh, the droids are not hitting him. He can get out, but he has to watch out for the Nips. There is no such place as a safe. There's no such thing as a safe place with a Coco and a Nips on the field. But good Duke, nonetheless. Yeah, he got into a very seedy spot right there. We saw him getting uh, kind of body blocked by that Nibs as she activated her fire there. Paolo activating it at a very good time, allowing that body block to have and happen, preventing Kelvin from escaping her clutches so easily. But he does get the nice juke and is able to escape. All right, yeah. So, I'd say that, judging by the comps, um, I think Boom are actually on the upper hand here. You have both Nibs and you have Coco. That's that's a really dangerous thing. But then again, a Vinny and a Scoop is actually going to be enough to actually kill Coco. But and not... Jess is actually going to take down Barracuda, but Blah is going to take down Chris Moon as well. But in regards to who has the upper hand here, you know, we 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 don't know. Actually, I can I can say for without a doubt, I have no idea who has the I upper have... hand because I, I'm you just have looking at, at, the, at, the, at the raw comps here. I'm looking raw. at what can do damage and what's going to hurt. Alright, uh, raw comps, and I will counter you and say, silence on that cloud. Mm -hmm. That's like a joker, that's not fair. <laughs> then again, that's that same can be said for Coco. I think you're absolutely right with the silence cloud. It is going to be what is going to keep Nibs from actually doing anything. It's going to what's... It's going to... It's going to, if I could English, it's going to be what uh, Skoldier is going to fear the most. He's going to have nightmares about it. Paul and going and Paul taking a lot of damage, but also dealing a lot of damage. Kelvin's taking a lot of damage, and Blah is going to pick up Chris Moon. Jess is going to pick up Paolo, and Jess is going to be a little bit of a seedy situation here as going he's going to get out. Just Kelvin's getting the and Nope, and he's actually going to go away. That's going to be a one for one. Excellent escape there uh, from the ninjas. I guess they they live up to their names. Yeah. I'm just going to see They're some ninjas attitude now. Attitude. Okay. All right. We're looking at uh, over a kill per minute right now, as both teams have four kills at the three minute mark, we're still very early in this match, and we see Jess opting for the Penguin Squire again, getting that oh. extra health. I, th I think that's going to work out, actually, now with, with the Coco and the Nibs. The but DLT, a lot of damage is being done right now, Jess is going to be in a very bad situation, if he gets thrown, it's going to be a kill he coming out. In there. Oh, uh, Chris Moon's going to actually get thrown, he's going to be in the brunt of things now, he's going to be taking a lot of damage, Blah getting the... Fight, uh, not the fight, excuse he me, gets the punches off. Nice. But Kelvin is going to get the pickup. Kelvin's going to be taking a lot of damage right now as well. But Jess is there for the escape, allowing Kelvin to escape with two bars of health and securing a one for none. 
Yeah. And uh, I think we're going to see Vinny up for the Solar Cloud region. Uh, going for that late game, that nice sort of uh, sustained Vinny that can go in with no HP, come out with a lot of HP, and he can do it safely because of silence, as well as the huge damage he's going to be able to provide. It's going to be a, a an AoE damage, so it's going to hurt the whole team. Um, combine that up with the scoop, that's going to be able to do even more AoE. Calvin taking a lot of damage. Paolo's going to be hunting Calvin down, down, and Paolo takes down Calvin. on that binding, but that's and not going to happen. And Paolo's going to be taken down by Jess. Now, Jess needs to escape this bad situation without getting thrown from Blah, and manages to with the help of Chris Moon. He gets out. We're looking at very even kills, and they are going at it, both teams. We're looking at seven kills, and we're only five minutes in so far. And Chris Moon trying to uh, juke out Blah here, but Blah is on him. He is not letting him go without taking half of his health. Oh, man. All right. Um, range coming out of Scoop. I like that. Damage and range coming out of Nips. So there is every reason to be afraid. And we see reason. the throw landing on Jess. Jess is going to be forced to kind of play on the defensive right here as Kelvin comes in for dealing a little bit of damage, allowing uh, Jess to kind of escape with a massive amount of health again due to that Penguin Squire. Oh, yeah. Um, as you said, it provides more HP than on the... Uh, with, the, with the added detail that you have to wait for it, so it's not going to be good for burst healing. You know, I really want to see how this Vinny is going to play into this, especially with that Nibs, because Nibs is a very hard counter to Vinny. And we're seeing a nice bowl coming out, and that's going to force Barracuda to get into that turret, but oh. Kelvin's going to be taking a lot of damage. Paolo taking down Kelvin. Barracuda's going to be forced to get out and does escape, despite being hit by Jess, and now we see the midsection, a midfight oh, going on here. the bowl is going to come out and actually get the nice... I was about to say pin, and but just the regular that's bowl. Be one for one exchange. But, but it was can very it be nice more? Bowl. Can it be more? Will it be more? More than likely not. Right. Boom know what they're doing, and they're, they're going to go ahead and defend, make sure. Coco is building for AA, so she's probably going to be their, the push factor of this game, where we're going to leave the CC and displacement to Skuldier, and the roll damage output is going to be in the hands of Nibs. On the other team, what would you say the rolls are going to be based on them? All right, well, we have Lone Star. He's going to be able to provide the CC. Uh, we have Vinny. He's going to be CC slash Nuker. And Scoop is going to provide CC as well as uh, poke damage. Fair enough, fair enough. You know, we're going to see these uh, throws coming out well, again into the fire. Really Paolo, Paolo taking right. a I think Chris Moon is dead. He is definitely down. But Paolo is going to be able to escape. And I think that caused Jess to overextend. Get the nice hammer. And he's actually getting away. He's actually getting away. With that heal, the binding is gonna be able to- he is getting away, wow. He got away from that. Brilliant play there. What? How? You, you want to get- he got away! <laughs> I know he got away, just how he got away is what's confusing me. This is- this is why I enjoy the finals. And things like that happen. That's the second time that uh, ninjas with attitude have escaped in a way like that. But we see they Barracuda never, getting that out, I mean, push up top. That's that's just how you do it. They they obviously were, were inspired when they got their name. And a lot of damage being dealt right now. Jess and uh, Chris Moon up top, and Kevin coming in for the uh, little poke damage, pushing away that Nibs from gaining any more ground. Oh yeah. That's something you actually, like, you're, you're talking about getting ground, and I think that's actually a core part of uh, playing Nibs. You want to make sure you let them take the ground you're on, and that's where you strike. As a Nibs, it's easier for you to just let people come in. Kelvin's and actually going to be taken down by the uh, entirety of Team Boom here, as Blah picks up the kill there, and plays here, around. we're just seeing a lot of kills. This is a very fast-paced game at this point. You know, seven kills to five kills, and we haven't even entered the mid-game yet. No, they, they don't give a darn about our preset ideas about how games should be. They're already in their own little mid game and they don't mind. No, As both teams are playing extremely well, you know. We've seen those escapes coming out from the ninjas with attitude. We've seen the counter initiations happening. And, you know, Team Boom at this point has uh, went to town on that top turret there. But Kelvin has getting his solar. He's preparing for that end game, as you said earlier, once he picked up that solar cloud. 
And he actually just picked up the uh, the goldfish. goldfish. No, no, that's not the Codfather. The Codfather. They changed the name. The Codfather. Yes, that's the damage when you're close to an enemy that has more than 150 solar. That's right. Excuse. No. Yeah, that's right. I was thinking about um bag of goldfish. Excuse oh yeah, that's. I get that confused. Um, if if we look at that, actually, I want to point out that Lone Star has missile for uh whatever reason he might have in his head. Um, that's that's a peculiar first pick after boot. Now, uh, normally I'm, I'm we see Trinamite. And yeah, Kelvin getting dangerously low on that oh, engagement yeah, right yeah. now. As as we mentioned before, with the Coco and the Nibs out on the field, you don't want to be alone like that. Definitely not, you know. One thing that I really would like to see Chris Moon pick up is that, uh, Trinamite, because it's so powerful. Oh, look what Even we have here. Silence Cloud on Vinny. Yes, I think things are about to happen. He had Things that. are gonna change. Yeah, he's on like three second cooldown. It's gonna pop down now. They're, this is their chance. Paulo is getting extremely low. One dash should be enough to actually deal with this. And now Jess is in the brunt of things, getting into a blonde Barracuda, but Barracuda is gonna be getting picked up. Barracuda is taking a lot of damage. Jess oh, the dash a lot of damage. and the reach. What? And the punch hit the wall. Well, you can't escape every time, I'm afraid. This is true. This is true. But an right. excellent team fight coming out on both ends there. Oh, look, we're seeing Blaze on Coco. Finally. Maybe Blaze damage. Finally. I've only been begging for it the entire stream. <laughs> All day, and we see Skull here coming out with massive fist damage, getting those two stages of uh, salted meat right now. Those punches are going to be hurting a lot more than normal. Oh yeah. And um, when you when you have that stun in, that's going to hurt. Also, uh, Science Sin Cloud yeah. has been dropped. A lot of damage coming out on both ends. Powell's going to be able oh, to pick up Chris Moon. Kelvin little... taking a lot of damage. La taking Kelvin and just Is it going to be a triple? Careful. Are we looking at a triple right now? Are we looking at a triple? We are Jess looking at it. Get picked up, and that is going to be a wipeout. Team Boom with the first wipeout of the game at the 11 minute mark. And that was actually, oh damn, that was nice. That that was nice, and they're gonna be able to take down the bottom turret, not for sure. Not quite sure if they can make the top one, but that's gonna take a lot of damage. But as that well. split pushing on for in favor of Team Boom allows that top turret, the second turret, to take half damage. It's just above half right now, and that salted meat contributed a lot to that. I think he's gonna go straight into some more damage on the fist, so. We'll yep. see what comes out. Yep, we see the damage and the throw damage start to come out. And that Silence Cloud, I don't know if it's going to be able to do much with those fists now. Well, you know, um, well, the, it's, a, it's a good pick, but I still stand by that Silence Cloud is good. And you were too, so you should you should stick with it, man, because Silence Cloud is good. Oh, no, I'm, I'm believe me, I'm all for Silence Cloud, and it's, it's one of the best upgrades in the game. It has a reoccurring silence as long as you're in it, so... That being said, if they're fighting in there, he's getting a lot of regen from it. Or excuse oh me. Oh man, Jess is in a really bad spot right now. This could go nowhere but wrong. Oh my. Jess is gonna be taken down by Barracuda. Hmm. That was a dangerous spot to be in. I mean, Coco, with even though it's only 10% slow, and you know, combine that with lots of body blocking, lots of DOT coming out both on Coco and on. Uh, Nibs, that's just going to be painful. You really want to watch your positioning when you're fighting these characters. Definitely. That's slow. A lot of CC coming out. Uh, I, the stun punch on Skoldir, combine that with the Blaze, and then toss in that Nibs who can just deal that just immense amount of damage in such a short period of time. It's a recipe for disaster. All right, well, I think we're looking at, at, at an attempt for getting the bulls in, but the throw, Chris I Moon think... is going to be in a bad situation here, but is able to shoot out. out the punches, and Blah may be taking a lot of damage. Blah is going to get the throw up. Oh, but the Blah hammer is going to get hit somehow. by the hammer. And Jess picks up Blah. At this point, let's see. Paolo Jess gets is the hunting teleport. down, but the teleport is going to allow Paolo to escape and force Jess to retreat back as Barracuda is protecting... Uh, they need to move up right now, oh, because this is the chance they've been looking for. They gotta get up, they gotta get control of that invis, and they're gonna go ahead and gank with the invis cloud, the silence cloud, sorry. Exactly, you know, as far as uh, the ninjas with attitude picking up invis, who on their team do you believe should be picking up the invis all the time? Or majority oh, of the time, I should majority say. Majority of the time, I'll probably uh, have to opt with Vinny. 
just because she can go in in the midst of things and plop that silence cloud and then have the dash either to attack or defensively dash out if things should turn take a turn for the worse. And right now he's taking a lot of damage. Kelvin's going to be forced to go back after a ball from Barracuda and uh, a teleport damage coming out was is going to force him back. And the throw coming out. Chris Moon getting thrown by Blah. Blah is going to be into the fray of things right now as both teams kind of back off from each other and retreat to regain some ground. Oh yeah. So right now, um, I'm seeing cooldown coming out of, out of scoop as well as damage, the brutally whipped cream, and um, that's gonna provide for a lot of poking, and I think that's gonna help keep Skoldier at bay. I would really like to see uh, Heavenly Fire come out for this Coco. Yes, definitely. You, you definitely want that. Um, it adds so much damage, and with the blaze damage you have already, it will just be able to shred HP while it flies through. You know, one thing that uh, Team Boom should be doing right now, and I think they're doing it pretty well, is waiting out Kelvin's Silence Cloud. Because if he pops that on droids, they can easily kind of time it. And right now, you can see him pop it right there. But if Kelvin just pops the Silence Cloud on droids, I don't think he'll be getting out unscathed. Because at that point, Team Boom is going to progress into it. Time the uh, time when the cloud will end and just start an engagement there. And we can see right now, Blah is actually going to be dealing some damage up top right now. Jess is going to be in a little bit of a stick situation down there. And actually, Calvin is going to be in the fray right now, in the midst of... He's in a very dangerous spot. The dash is going to come out defensively. He's got to touch the DOT, and the fist is going to take him down. And I think Chris Moon might be... And Chris Moon is going to go down. Paolo will take him down with the uh, teleport. All right, that's a... That's a... That's a two for nothing. It's a two extra. for none. Mm. I, we I, see now Barracuda clearing that top lane, and we see a sort of split push going on right now, as Jess can't be in two lanes at once. Oh, and the throw comes out, but and the ball <laughs> try to predict where he's going, and the push is 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 what happened. What what I was what I said was Coco was probably going to be doing was just keep the push up. Exactly, and this is going to be the second turret down in favor of Team Boom, as they progress into a three to one turret situation. And Paolo doing a lot of damage, but oh. Jess is also gonna be able to wow, it seems like the Penguin Squire just completely negated that fire, whereas if that was on a normal person oh, it without actually, any region. It actually does if you look at the numbers, it actually does negate the fire. It That's exactly so negates the DOT fire. But you know once they get into that, Jess needs to be in the fray. Oh, and Jess, Jess is going to be into the fray right now. Jess is going to be taking a lot of damage. Kelvin's going to drop the Silence Cloud. He's not going to be able to do anything as Jess is going to be on the run from the Wrath of Team Boom. And Jess is going to be going down to Paolo's teleport. Damn. But That's one down. The Are they going to go in for the whole push-in? I think they might just be going all point, in right now. At this point, they should be going in for that push-in. They That's are going a... all in right now. Silence Cloud is out. They have nothing to do with Coco's AA. I think they are going to be able to do a lot of damage right now. Kelvin taking so much damage, and he's going to be forced to go out. If he goes back in there, the DOT actually picks up Chris Moon. Chris Moon is going to go down to Barracuda, and that is going to be the entirety of Team Boom going on on that base. And I'm not sure Kelvin One can really silence. He actually got the kill. He may be able to get another one. Nope, he Maybe, gets Maybe, but no. Nope. He's going to get picked up, and that that's is going, going to be the to first be. game. Oh. Game. I already the know first game. Goes to Team Boom at finals. I think that now that um, ninjas with attitudes have have an idea of what they're up against, I think this next game might show something uh, something changing because I, I think what happened was they were they were were out of position in in, in times where uh, against other teams you would be able to get away with it. But and you can you can see that in the beginning they actually kind of got away with it. But they kept on this very, very uh, cheeky plays, and I think it went too far at one point, and that's what you started this initial snowball. Well, you know, my whole thing, my whole take on this, man, you know, we know Team Boom. Mm -hmm. And I know some of the members of Ninjas with Attitude. We've seen them play Hot Voltar Train before, and Team Boom, when you're facing a team with such high competitiveness and such a level of awareness in the game, Knowing where you are on the map in relation to your team and the enemy team is a huge thing. You know, that Skoldier can displace so many things. He's displacing your... If he can throw one member of your team, he's basically 
throwing your whole momentum off. You know? Yep. Combine that into the Nibs Fire, throwing them into Nibs Fire and Coco's Blaze. They're slow, they're taking a lot of damage over time, and they're not going to be able to escape. But as you said before, we saw it earlier on when they were able to get away with those cheekier plays, and we saw Jess escape and Kelvin escape in those really bad situations. But towards the end of the game, when we got into that mid-game point where builds were kind of set in, those yeah, stuff. It, 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 so, it, sort of, it sort of collapsed on them. And uh, one of the last things Lone Star got was piggy bank into Trinamite, something that we were talking about should have happened in the earlier stages of the game. Well, it should have happened a little bit earlier. I think that the missile was not the greatest choice. I think that Trinamite would have been a better choice. Get that extra damage. But I understand where he was going with it. You know, he needed to kind of get that extra damage if the Nibs was into that fire sequence where she can't really move for about a half a second until the orb is cast, getting that extra little yeah. poke in. But I think Trinomite would have been the best option in a situation like this. That being said, before we go into our break for game two, I think there is something that should be given away? Well, you might want to pay attention in chat then. That's true. Uh, keep an eye out in that chat because one of the Twitch mods shall be giving away a RoboScoops kit. So all you have to do is keep an eye on there and pay attention to the rules that he is going to give out. That being said, we'll be right back with Game 2 of Boom vs. Ninjas with Attitude of the Alienware Awesome Cup 2 second North American Qualifier. Yes, sir. See you there. <laughs> 